One thing that became apparent when we started with the Nightingale Hospital was that we had to have an approach that was built on continuous improvement. And everyone who came into the Nightingale Hospital came with that approach. They came with a willingness to learn, to try new things, realising that we had never done this before, but also realising that they had a voice. If they had suggestions how this was going to work better, they could make those suggestions in, a, in an environment that was non-hierarchical. It was really, they, they had a voice that was listened to. And so when you had a rapidly changing brief and you've got that culture of where everyone can contribute towards it, it became a really dynamic atmosphere and one where we all felt we were contributing to making improvements to help save lives for our patients. My job was to make sure, A, they were looked after, that we, took, we really paid attention to uh, little things that mattered to them. Um, for example, during Ramadan, making sure my staff had, had breaks so that they could they, when they were fasting so they could carry on delivering their service and it was making sure you looked out for their staff and you gave them regular breaks when they needed it and I couldn't be more grateful really for the support that they gave to me in helping make this a really successful part of our careers. There's a lot of learning and reflection we've done as to why the Nightingale worked so successfully. Um, a lot of people have, have fed back they found this refreshing, invigorating, they felt they were part of one big team. And I keep thinking, you know, how, how did we manage to deliver that? And I keep going back to everybody had a, a single purpose. We all knew what that common purpose was, and that was to save as many lives as we could. And when you've got that focus and you've got a, a workforce and a culture which is embracing, engaging, welcoming, supporting and continuously trying to improve, well then you see what people have described here as some of the best experiences of their lives. And if there's something I'm going to take back to my workplace is how do we cr continue to create that culture and how do we continuously value our staff and embrace their, their input and be prepared to try things. Try things that are, might not necessarily work, but actually there might be some good that comes from that. So um, that's where I'm gonna take back to my workplace.